I want to be able to find the area of a sector of a circle. The idea, if I have a central angle theta and a radius of r, I want to know the area of this intercepted piece. In order to look at that, I'm going to create a second central angle alpha that intersects a sector of area B. Then geometry tells me that that angle theta divided by the area is going to be equal to the angle alpha divided by its area. Essentially, we're going to set up this proportion between the angle and the area of the sector. And this should be true no matter what angle we use. So let's use the angle 2 pi, the entire rotation. In that case, its corresponding area would be the area of the entire circle, which is given by pi r squared. So we have theta divided by a is equal to 2 pi, divided by pi r squared. Or if we simplify a little bit, pi over a is equal to 2 over r squared. We can cross multiply. This would give us theta r squared, when we multiply this way, is equal to 2a. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me that 1 half theta r squared is equal to a. So I can determine the area of a sector by multiplying 1 half times the central angle times the radius squared. Let's suppose you have a circle with radius of 7 centimeters. What is the area of the sector intercepted by a central angle of pi over 3 radians? When we have our formula, a equal to 1 half theta r squared, theta needs to be in radians. So our first step would be to multiply 110 degrees by pi over 180 degrees to get 11 pi over 18. So my area is 1 half 11 pi over 18 times the radius, which is 5 squared. And this is approximately 24 square inches. So the area of this intercepted sector would be approximately 24 square inches.